Hello everyone and welcome back to Into the Breach. Last time we did the third island with the bomber mechs, it's time to move on to the fourth island, which is archiving. Now just to mentally prepare myself here, we got six enemies we have to deal with. That fifth one, I don't know what that is, but I'm really scared with blobbers though. I mean, you have the bomber mech to deal with things. But just to remind us what we have here, we have the pierce mech with its maxed out damage and also has networked armor on it. Probably going to get rid of this soon in favor for like a better passive if I can find one or a better weapon. And we just found Camilla here with conservative as well. So she has a mercury fist, so she can use this five damage mercury fist twice in one match. But most of, more often than that, we're probably just going to use the bomb dispenser and use these little bomb links here. And then we have Archimedes here with the exchange mech using the force swap. And he also has a grid charger with conservative. So we can gain like two grid power every, every battle as well. Let's hop in here to the final mission. I also might get rid of this grid charger before the final mission too. If we find an amazing passive or weapon that is. Alright, here we go. Archiving. Alright, so we definitely have to do this mission. I'm thinking we do one, two, three, four. Oh, this is kind of tricky. I can't get I can't do all the I can't do both these good missions here. I kind of don't like how they set that up. Well, I mean, I have to do this mission. We'll, we'll let's just do this one right now, uh, and then we'll think about it later. Oh, we got scorpion. Well, okay, what is this thing? Alpha starfish. Damage four oblique tiles. Oh, okay. It attacks the diagonals. It's kind of like a digger, but the diagonals. Okay. We got a blobber here. Hmm. Yeah, let's roll with that. That should be fine. Hmm. Ah, oh, you, you jerk. So I think priority number one should be taking out this stupid blob here. This is not a bad shot either. Actually, doing a bomb here. Let's see, this because this mosquito is doing nothing. I can just move out of the way of him. This will damage the blob or also set him on fire for two, and then. What would I do with my second bombling? I don't know what I would do with my second bombling. That's a thing. I could just damage the mosquito with it. Also come over here, Mercury fist this guy to death straight away, and then maybe swap this thing around. Let's see, he does three damage, that's right, okay. This one make it so this is attacking the satellite, which I don't want. What if I came over here with my incredible, incredible movement? I could kill the starfish. Hmm. There's a lot of choices here I have to make. I'm also considering just throwing a bomb wing back behind the scorpion to kill him. And then... And then what? And then it worked. This squad is so tricky. Like, it takes me so long to figure stuff out. I came over here and mercury fisted again that starfish would not that starfish would be hitting things that I don't want that. I would kill him, push this guy to not a very good spot.
If I got my pierce mech right where the uh, bombling mech is, I could kill the blobber and move his blob out of the way and do nothing with that. If I swapped the... How much damage does the mosquito do? Three. If I swap the mosquito with the scorpion, the scorpion... They would both do nothing. No, if I swap the starfish with the mosquito, starfish would do nothing, and the mosquito would heavily damage this guy. I think that's something I want to try doing. I need to get out of the smoke, though. Yeah, if I swap this guy... Right. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, do... Let's do this. Oh, I know he is hitting something. And, oh, shoot, I didn't see that one. Let's reset. Starfish is weird. I kind of want to just kill it right off the bat, but I don't know how. This is where the ice beam would... I, I should have bought the ice beam last, last time. I could just, yeah, let's just do this. And then what we can do is just swap these two around. Although that will help, I mean, he can just move out of the way, that's fine. Let's actually do this. We're gonna launch one here, one here. Oh wait, no. If I did something like this... No, wait. Yeah, let's do this. We'll move to block here. Put one here, one here. Come here, explode this. Wait, no. You want to use this guy, come over here and explode this. He's on fire, now I can use this one to block. And then Archimedes can just move out of the way of this guy. Alright, there we go. I think that was a pretty good turn. We didn't get rid of the blobber though, which I'm kind of upset about. But we are preventing more guys from spawning. Okay, there's a good op- well, I can't really bomb that, can I? Let's see, I could shoot from downtown and kill that guy. And then I could just... I can do the, uh, the grid charger on this. And that leaves the, uh... Yeah, we can use Mercury Fist on this guy. Alright, is that what I want to do? Shoot this guy from downtown, Mercury Fist this one. And then just, yeah, we can do that. And then Archimedes can move out of the way of getting satellite killed. And then I don't have to worry about the, the blobber next turn because he'll die of the fire. Well, I mean, I have to deal with his blob this turn. That's the unfortunate part. I don't have to worry about killing him anymore. Okay, that's unfortunate. I'm probably gonna have to use a bombling to get rid of that. I could just take the hit on this guy. That's probably not preferred. Hmm. 
This is a, a choice I can make too. I was trying to think of ways to like get the grid charger involved without having to use the swap mech here. Cause I could come over here and Mercury Fist this guy, but then I have to deal with the blob and the starfish at the same time. Yeah, I feel like this is something I'm gonna have to think of next. I'll, I'll have to use the grid charger next time. Right now, I can just swap the starfish and the scorpion. Right, and that. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. And now, I can use a bombling to block and also to get rid of that. Well, let's move up here and do it. Actually. I think I want to be here. No, I have to be up here to do it. Or, can I do this? Throw it back here. I don't know if I can, yeah, I don't think I can block that because it's on fire. We'll just put one here, one here. Let's blow this up. And then use this to deal some more damage to this guy. And then this guy can... No, I don't want to do that. that would... well, Archimedes can move out of the way. Yeah, we'll have Archimedes just move... Out of the way, and then we can just push this guy back. He'll be on fire and blocking for me, so I don't have to worry about him next turn. Oh, I know, the starfish is gonna kill him, yeah. Starfish is gonna kill him. I have to deal with four Vec now, though. Oh, I might not be able to use a grid overcharger here. Well, let's see. Well, that guy moved in front of the satellite. Let me see. The satellite goes first, right? Oh, no. It moves last. Okay. What? Well, I can just move out of the way of this guy. It's not a big deal. The Mercury fist this guy to death. Although, I think the best... No, I don't want to do that. I think it's better if I shoot through him like this. Because I don't think this Pierce mech can do anything else. If I shot through him like this, he would be free. And then I just need... Yeah, and I literally just need to deal with this starfish, which I think we can deal with. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, I need, I need something else in the way. That's right. Yeah, I think I can do this. I could use two bombling mechs like this. Blow up like this. This satellite has two health. Wonderful. And then Archimedes can get the final kill on the starfish here. Thus, overcharging our grid some more. Nice, it's up to 30 now. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. I do need to get Camilla some HP, or some XP though. Problem though is that she's not in the best mech to gain HP or XP. Alright, so we definitely had to do that mission. Now, because of the placement of these guys, I think I have to do this one, this one, and that one. I, and I can't get I can't pick up this other three three reward mission. Defending the tanks should be pretty easy for this squad, I think. 
I wonder if this, um, hang on, this ability here, heal ally, I wonder if this works on things that are dead. That's something I might want to consider. Let's take off the health on that and put heal ally up. That might be something I want to try and test right here. Yeah, let's go right into defend the tanks. And then we got four enemies, but one of them is a blobber. Which sucks. I might put this guy in the water, actually. Because I might be able to swap an enemy into the water that way. Time pod, very nice. I wouldn't mind seeing more pilots. I think my pilot choice could be a little better. I was afraid of that blobber doing that. Okay, this scarab's not doing anything, right? I saw that, I think. But, okay, so both scarabs are not doing anything. I honestly just want to get rid of this blobber, like, right away. So if I do this and this. Oh, and that puts me in a really good position to kill the starfish, too, so let's definitely do that. Uh, I can move myself out of the way here. Don't need to take unnecessary damage. You're stunned. Yep. Get rid of that, okay, we're good. And you can block for us. And then Archimedes, let's see, we have two Vec on the table right now. We're blocking one already. I think I just want to pick up the Time Pod. I think that's fair. I need, still need to get Camilla her XP. So I want to let some Vec pop up. Problem though is that this mech can't really gain XP unless it uses like a Mercury Fist. I think that's a good Mercury Fist target on that mosquito over there. And I can shoot through this guy. Yeah, that's a pretty good combo. Mercury Fist this dude. That's some good XP for her. And then, yeah, I guess I'll just do nothing with Archimedes. I'll just block. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, no, let's not block. Let's move more central like this. Let's see, and hopefully I can get the kill on that Scarab with Archimedes next turn. Alright, so this Scion is in fact boosting them. That's it kind of what I thought the Scion would be able to do. Here we, can do we have push tank power now. Uh, I, can, I can also just leave him to die to the fire. I can use the push tank here to do that. Yeah, overcharging the grid, and then Camilla can do a Mercury Fist on this guy to get 4 XP. And then I think we just block now. Actually, yeah, let's block this one that's in the back-ish. Yeah, there might be an opportunity to push stuff into water here. That's a mosquito, that's a scorpion. Alright, how do I deal with this guy? Could just do that. Oh, I wasted my mercury fist, yeah. I kind of needed it to deal with that guy. Well, I can use... Well, does the fire... Do I... I don't know. Hmm. I can just push this, uh, 
deal damage to him like this now. And then how do I deal with this guy? Yeah, if I still have the Mercury Fist, I could kill that guy. Unfortunately, I messed up. Let's see, I can use a bombling here. Or just stay in here and do this. That's a kill there. Mmm, I don't know. Again, I want to overcharge the grid even more, but I don't think it's... I don't know if I can do it this time. Because I kind of need the teleport ability on this guy. I can also just push this guy out of the way. I don't need to kill I don't need to kill this guy. But then how do I deal damage to this one? I think we just don't overcharge the grid. I don't I don't play it super greedy here. So yeah, we'll just come over here. No, oh wait, the push tank can actually move it all the way over Okay, we're fine then. Yeah, see that worked out. And yeah, he just does nothing, I think we just end. Probably could have done things slightly better to get Camilla more XP, but we overcharged the grid, which I think is still pretty good. She got 8 XP. Come on. Oh, it's just a reactor core. Oh, man. I think... Yeah, maybe we should just get her the bonus use of the Mercury Fist. I mean, being able to Mercury Fist three times in one game is pretty huge, still. Yeah, let's do that. And then the next thing I think I want to get is the um, health back on this one. Alright, take less than three grid damage, protect the coal plant. Well, there's tons of mines, so I think we'll be set. Let's see if we can bait the scorpion. Actually, man, our deploy options are horrible here. I could put something here. I think that's probably best there. I think that that should be fine. I'm hoping, yeah. My my set. My hope is that the scorpion is gonna step on a mine. That's my that's my plan with this deployment. Oh, and of course he goes for the building. Nice, nice. One more? No. See, this guy's like trapped, ain't he? Yeah. Actually, this is actually quite a good option right here. See, I'll destroy the. Yeah. Let's do this. Like, I can also just teleport this guy into the web right now. Or into the smoke, not the web. There's no web here. And I can just push this guy. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Swap this guy around. Put him into the smoke. And then this guy we... Oh wait, not that. Definitely get rid of the blobber. 
It's the way to go. And then Archimedes. Do we want to block spawns? I think no. Let's move Archimedes there. Oh, okay, good thing. I was really hoping that Scorpion would move back down. But this one moved up. There's a good Mercury Fist opportunity here. It gives Camilla that sweet, sweet XP. Could also Mercury Fist this, that frees up my guy. Potentially do better. Yeah, let's just do this. We'll Mercury Fist this guy. That frees up my guy, and then he can come over here. And do that. Tim will be smoked. Oh no, and then I can follow up with Archimedes, yeah, and get the kill there. I just That was not what I meant to do. I was that was a misclick. I just wanted to double check what the Scion does. All our Vec are boosted probably plus one damage. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's all he does. Oh no, I can't follow up with that guy. You guys see the problem. Well, let's just damage a Scion. And kill that guy in the process. Uh, Yeah, let's let this guy come up. Actually, no, let's, let's, let's block, we'll block. Hopefully on these last two turns I can get the overcharge. I don't know if I can reach that guy now. I can bombling mech this guy. I think that's what I have to do. And this one, I do something like that. Oh man! You know what I wonder? This this is another testing opportunity here. If I do this, I'll definitely kill him. But what if I did this? What if I came over here and killed my own guy with that? It does in fact work. Why are we not abusing this totally OP combo then? Like it, like in universe. Why don't, why are we not just killing our own guys with this, with this weapon, and just getting a massive grid defense going? That's so ridiculous. So as long as you just kill anything, it just charges the grid. It's, it's cool. All right. Obviously, we come over here. Do this to this guy. Oh no, that would kill my dude. I do this, kill this one. Now we'll do this. She, and then she can come over here and Mercury Fist. That kills two guys. That gives her full, like, nine XP, right? That's how that works. Oh my, see, that, that, that was perfect. Although, now I need something. Can I kill a mine? Does that work? I'm pretty sure this doesn't count, right? No, it doesn't work that way. That's fine, we don't need every little bit of grid defense. I mean, 33% grid defense is still, like, huge. Now it's 34, and it can still go up. Technician. Okay, that's not bad on her. Although I would prefer something else, I think. What is this? Retrospect Park. Use three repair platforms. Kill at least seven enemies. I think I've done... I think I used... Or I encountered this mission type the first on my first playthrough. Yeah, I think this fully heals whatever steps on it and then it becomes deactivated. 
This might actually be kind of easy with the bomblings, I think. Well, I definitely want to do this because of the reactor core that's here. Got the scorpions too. Let's give that a shot. Oh, there's the pot. Oh yeah, we start out damaged. That's that's the part of this. Oh, that and that procs first turn. Okay. Ah, stupid mosquitoes. Hmm. Three uses of this. This is a decent Mercury Fist too. Because this, this, I mean, this blob is like not doing anything. I may as well. Yeah, I think this is a good Mercury Fist opportunity. Pushes that guy out of the way, kills this one. Let's do that. And then what are my other guys gonna do? I think I'll just, yeah, I think pu just pushing this, yeah, we'll just do that. Actually, no, there's a, we can do this. We could swap something with this mosquito, maybe even the scorpion. Let's do this. And then we can Mercury Fist this. Does that count as using that? No, it doesn't, okay. And then I, because this guy's now lined up for me, I can take this shot. Very nice. And then I think I just take the repair platform here. And there we go, we use three now. Or two, we use two. Oh, that was a pretty good first turn. It's only a basic starfish we have to deal with. I think what we do is we just come over here, shoot through our guy, kill him, and then Archimedes can get, yeah, he can kill this and then move down, get that repair platform. And then the starfish, I think we just, we just, yeah, we just mercury fist this guy. Let's do that. There we go, I think that was, that was pretty good. We do, we do need to use one more repair platform. But we only have to deal with two hostile vec this next turn. Oh, and of course he uses it. Can I actually go up over there and, yeah, I can come over here and do that. And I love having the Mercury Fist on Camilla like this. this is so useful. Yeah, because what we just do here, that she Mercury Fists this guy, Archimedes blasts this guy, and this, this one pushes this guy back. Let's do that. Mercury Fist, bang! And push this guy back now. And then we use this repair platform in the back. There we go, and now we end our turn. My guys are a bit out of position, I would say. But, I mean, these four guys are like super far from all the buildings. Oh yeah, there's Camilla's power, she's gonna, she's gonna bait two webs, oh my gosh, that's huge.
Hmm. I think we can just... What we can do is that we can just shoot this guy through the building. Actually, I need a way. I just need to deal with the scarab. That's all I really need to be concerned with. And yeah, we just won. Just gotta move out of the way. All right. Cool. Well, I mean, Camilla came in super helpful there. She's basically distracted to the Vec for us. Alright, Time Pod, give me a new pilot. I want to see more pilots. Especially the DLC ones. Ooh, what is this? Enraged Shot. Force targeted unit to attack adjacent tile. I might use that. Honestly, get rid of the the HP buff. This is a science class weapon. Does it always deal one damage? Is that how this works? Hmm. Like this, yeah, this networked armor thing is not being that useful. <laughs> But I wonder if this interrupts the attack of something. Like if like if, if, if a scorpion's like targeting a building, can I use this to like interrupt his attack? Or is hmm? I don't know about that. I think we'll hold on to it right now. We won't use it though. I think we'll just max out what we have right now. Like we'll get the health, health on this, a health on this. All right, let's roll with that. Blah blah, Lita. Let's go. Like this, the bombly mech has basically just turned into like the Mercury Fist mech at this point. Like, not even gonna lie. How much HP does that blob have? Not, like, please only have one. It has two! Nuts! I mean, it's really tempting just to kill that guy right off the bat, but... Yeah, what do I do? And that, that stupid blob moves last too, which kind of sucks. Could just swap it with the mosquito. I mean, I'll, no, I can't do that. I need... Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. We'll, s we'll throw these guys over here. I may not have thought this through very well, but it might still work out. Get some damage on that guy, and then ex I can't explode. Kill him, that's the problem. Yeah, just swapping these two would actually, yeah, distract them. And we can come block with him. I've done this so wrong. Yeah, I think we just have to come over here, push this out of the way. And then just blow this guy up. 
Unfortunately, no other Vec are emerging, but I've done pretty mediocre damage to all these things. I've done, yeah, I've done this round super badly. Oh, that blob just stays there? Does it not? Yeah, well, fortunately, that blob's not doing anything. That mosquito's not doing anything. Oh, it just stays there. Okay. It doesn't kill itself, it just deals one damage to itself. Okay. Well, that is fine with by me. Dang, I wish I could shoot there. The smoke is making that annoying. Do I just Mercury Fist the boss right now? I feel like maybe that's the best thing to do. I Mercury Fisted this guy. That wouldn't be enough to kill the mosquito. I think I just gotta take the Mercury Fist now. How much damage does he gotta do? He does three damage, so if I just swap these two around... Right? Yeah, two will kill three, and yeah, three won't be alive anymore. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's not block. I think we'll be fine if we don't block. Oh, I can still take a shot. Well, let's, we can block with this thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. As blobber leader is certainly interesting. See if I came over here, that's not a good thing to do. Hmm. If I just shot him like this and someone was standing there. I'm also thinking of just coming over here. Well, I, actually, I can use a bombling on that guy. Let's try and use a bombling to kill that guy. We'll use this one to block for us. Or maybe I should just kill Archimedes to gain a bonus power. Oh, the starfish is going to be attacking. Yeah, I don't think I can overcharge my grid this turn. I think I've already messed that up. Swap these two around. And then this guy can just kill that starfish now. Oh, shoot. Why did I not think about that? Let's, re let's, okay, let me reset. I still have my reset. Might be able to think things through better. You could also just swap, like, literally, like, anything up there with that guy. And that will kill him in the process. Let's do that. And yeah, we can just Mercury Fist this guy. Let's move up down here first, and then do it. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. Hopefully we can overcharge the grid next turn. It will be the last turn after all. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this should be easy. So 
all I have to do is just bomb that guy. Not that, yeah. And then explode for no reason, yay. <laughs> I love the overcharge thing so much. It's such a nice thing to have. It definitely saved me. Like I'm pretty sure I got to like one health left and I've recovered a full twice because of it. Alright, perfect island. Oh, Bethany is so useful to have. I don't think I have her unlocked yet. What does this do? Shield target and push adjacent enemies away. Hmm. What, wait, what does what does this skill do? Hmm. Well, let me think about this. I can I can look at the store. No, I can't look at the store first. That's right. I think I want to just take Bethany to have her unlocked. All right, let's look at the weapons. Bombing run. Column bombers dealing damage to every tile in a row or column. Okay, that's really cool. Firestorm generator. Flaming artillery that drops fire on the way to its target. Because what I'm just thinking, right, is that I do not need this um, grid charger anymore. Like, it's, it would be pointless for me to have that. Also, what does this ability do? Let me just put her in here to see. Plus two move when not full health. Okay. I don't think I'll use her. Because this, um, this default guy with his thing, yeah, this, this, is, this is pretty good. This is also a good passive. I need like a new weapon for sure. Like I'm gonna take out the grid charger. Hmm. I really wanna just try this out. Like this seems so cool and plus like Archimedes could still benefit from his thing. Let's let's give this a shot, and we'll get rid of the grid charger. Right, so he has um, what, three uses of this bombing run here. Probably also want to make it building immune. Flame artillery that drops fire on the way to its target. I'm pretty sure this is the weapon of one of the guys, um, I forget what they're called, but in one of the new DLC um, squads. I don't think I'll take that. Is there anything else I want to swap out? I don't think the networked armor is very good either. I think I want to sell the networked armor and then maybe get this passive. Let's do that. No, that could be huge. I don't think I want this either. The enraged shot. Let's sell Bethany. Sell this enraged shot. And then I think we just buy three power cores. Can I even use three power cores? Oh no, I definitely can use three power cores. Because this one's full, this one can be full. Yeah, I think we just take the plus one damage on the Vec Hormones. And then get the building's immune thing on this one to make it much easier to use. But real quick, there's something I wanted to check. There is an achievement, I think, right? For power. Earn or buy. Oh, I already got that one. Okay. I wasn't sure if I had this achievement yet or not, but we got that. Yeah, I think we just buy three reactor cores here, and this will be our final setup. Get that. That is maxed out, and then we'll get the building immune on this. This could be very good. So this thing does two damage, yeah. 
Alright. Let's... Yeah, let's just leave. Alright, so here we are heading into the final mission. Final roll call here. We got Esther Colita, a default pilot with skilled and adrenaline. Honestly, this the skill thing is like super useful. Uh, because it's basically like two skills in one. Um, got amazing movement. Six movement. Four damage on the AP cannon. Also, I was carrying the Vec hormones, so every every Vec now deals an extra three damage to each other in addition to what they already do. A uh, Mercury Fist on Camilla here, honestly very useful. Maxed out Bomb Dispenser as well. Pretty much everything maxed out. And then we got the maxed out Exchange Mech with Archimedes here, who also has the Bombing Run, which might come in play if there's a lot of low health guys on the board. We'll have to see. That's going to be my final set. Let's go to the Volcanic Hive. See what we got here. The fact that it's not letting me put something right here and also here makes me think that there's gonna be pylons right there. We got that. Let's put you here and you there. I think that should be good. Got quite a bit of water right off the bat. Yep, here come the pylons. Okay, I mean, they're all just targeting the grid right now. That is A-OK -okay with me. Honestly, might just try and use this boss to my advantage here. Oh my god, look at this. This is such a cool weapon. Yeah, I can use the boss here to like basically kill anything. Because these guys all have 5 health. Kill this guy. Can also just go and Mercury Fist any of these guys. I go in Mercury Fist this one. I don't know. I feel like the best thing to do is just to shoot through these two guys right here. Let's do that. And then we could swap Z's. Hmm. Question is, do I really care about the grid at this point? Yeah, I feel like losing this pylon early on wouldn't be such a such a bad idea. But let me just think, what can I do with the swap mech? This guy does three damage. I could just move over here to swap these two, and that prevents both of them from doing anything. And then I can just come and Mercury Fist this guy. Honestly, I feel like this pylon might be just doomed. This like this two health pylon here. What's the hang on, what's the attack order? This guy does three damage. This guy has seven health. Is that well actually he would push him out of the way. If I can put a bombling right here. Swap the beetle with the bombling. That takes care of two guys. But then, yeah, this guy still attacks this pylon. And maybe I was too hasty with that first turn. I really want to just use this be beetle to help kill the boss. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let that pylon die. I think we'll be just fine with without it.
And then, yeah, this guy can just move, damage this one. And then this guy just does nothing. I think I'm happy with that. This is a kind of a tough pylon to avoid anyway, or avoid damaging. Oh, I forgot the leader would go first. Oh, but that's still super good. I didn't even consider that, having the pylon be destroyed and then having him shoot through. Yeah, nice try, dude. You can't web me. Okay, this is interesting. So I could just shoot through like this. Yeah, and the, he, he put up that rock. Yeah. Like, that rock is now... Yeah, let's do this. And this guy is now just going to kill both of these guys for me. Very nice. And then I can just swap like this guy with literally anyone. Okay, that was a really, that kind of worked out. Thanks for putting that rock there, dude. You're really helping me out here. I think here we just shoot the the digger. Can I go through this? I forget. Yeah, just do this. Get rid of all those dumb dumb rocks, and then we can just mercury fist this guy. Yeah, that was a pretty good turn. Might have been better just to use the bomb lame to uh, block, but oh well. The three use Mercury Fist, that does five damage, it's huge. That, that was a big thing to find. Okay, I think we just... Yeah, we just... Swap these two. And then... Mercury Fist this guy. Push this guy over there, very nice. Well, that was an easy first phase of the boss fight. Incoming seismic activity, brace yourselves! Uh... This is weird, all the guys are in like the bottom left. Alright, here comes the Renfield bomb. It's probably gonna kill that crab, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Always love it when it does that. Now we might be able to use those bomb spots, potentially. Hmm. This guy is shoot- wait. Yeah, I could put a bombling here, and this Hornet leader will actually kill both of these guys for me. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. And... Yeah, let's just do this part first. Alright, so yeah, all these guys will die, and then I just need to come over here, not kill that guy. He will actually destroy that pylon. Actually, no, wait. Yes, he will. Oh my god, that was like perfect. Let's go and block this over. Actually, let's not block that. That's kind of far away. We, sh we should be able to deal with that just fine. Let's just leave him right there.
All right, we're using the boss to our advantage here with the Vec Hormones. Very nice combo. All right, nice try, dude, but I have Camilla powers. The question is, who do I just want to smash? Hmm. Again, I could just put a bombling here, have the boss kill this guy for me. Although I need to be, yeah, let's go over here and do it. And then I need this guy just to step out of the way. Block this for us. And Archimedes can move out of the way of the tentacles, no problem. Because he's freaking Archimedes! Man, Archimedes, what a boss. He's so good. I feel like he's probably going to be the guy I bring back in time with me. Although I am considering Camilla, though. Because I'm trying to think about what squad I'm going to be doing next. Alright, um... I think what we just do here is we just push this guy. Yeah, we'll just... Wait... Does this hurt the bomb? Yes, it does. I don't think it would really matter anyway. I was thinking of just pushing this guy over the lava and then swapping them. I'll kill the scorpion and this guy's facing the wrong way. Oh, no, I can't. I'll be, I'll be killing the bomb if I did that. You come over here. Oh, yeah, that would just kill him too. Yeah, we'll just do that. I was dumb. Why did I do that? We're going to reset. I forgot, I forgot I'll be pushing the bomb with that. Yeah, we're just gonna swap these two. Makes everything easy. And we can Mercury Fist this guy. Actually, no, I think I would rather just block two spawns and let this guy live. You can come block this for me. And then you can just repair, I think. Or I can kill this guy. Let's just kill this guy. And you do nothing. And then you block that. Okay. We're all good. Wow, that boulder got crushed by a boulder. That's that's crazy. All right, last turn. Uh, yeah, I think we just win. But how do I want to clean up this? Yeah, they're, they're not damaging enough pylons to kill me. And this guy also isn't doing enough to kill the bomb. I could do this. No. Oh, didn't want to move that. Look how insane this guy's movement is. Eight movement. You move almost anywhere on this whole map. I might do something like this. I can't reach that. I can do this. Swap this guy around. Actually, I thought that would be reaching the boss. I mean, that's my mistake. Yeah, what am I doing? 
Like, why am I playing this so- yeah, this is not, like, helping at all. I mean, I protected this building, but then, um... Yeah, I don't have a way of- I don't have a way of, uh... Destroying this blob now, I'm pretty sure, without killing my guy. I can do this. No, I can't do that. Yeah, that pylon's gonna take damage, oh well. Let me just, like, snipe the boss from downtown. Yeah, and that pylon just takes one damage. Yeah, I'm not really too concerned with defending the pylons. I don't think they even add to your score if you keep them alive. The Renfield bomb is ready. I recommend you leave now. Or you'll share a grave with the Vec. Well, Bomber Mech, see you all on the other side. No goodbyes. Other timelines need us. My work here is, is at an end, yet the journey continues. Yeah, Archimedes, you're the MVP of this run. For sure. I'm so glad I found you early on. Henry's sacrifice to being sold, though, will be remembered on the first island. He was the gateway to the success. But yeah, my score's not going to be very pretty, because I'm pretty sure a lot of civilians died, and I just brought back, brought it all back with my power. Yeah, it's only 28,000, not 30,000. It's like nearly 2,000 civilians died. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. I think I want to alternate back and forth between, um, what is it, uh, a DLC squad and also a new one? Or an, an old one, I should say. This guy's pretty good with his skills. Although I am thinking of bringing Camilla, because I think the next regular squad is going to be the Resting Hulks. Although I could also just not do the Resting Hulks, I could do some other squad. I feel like, yeah, I think I might just do some other random squad. I won't do them, like, in order. I think bringing Archimedes with this this skill set is pretty good. And I'll try and find, like, or try and build up a better Camilla for the Resting Hulks. Or just bring, like, a different one entirely. Yeah, let's bring Archimedes with us. And yeah, let's uh, look at our squad list. We have seven coins now. Did I get the achievements? I didn't check these achievements, did I? Oh yeah, I did this, uh, I did this. Okay, so I got all the achievements with the bomber me Oh yeah, it's right here, with the coins. How did I not see that? Alright, I got seven coins here. Um... Which squad would Archimedes be really good with? Not- I feel like maybe he'd be good with... The Flame Behemoths? Yeah, let's buy the Flame Behemoths. We'll use him for that one. And then let's buy a DLC squad. Let's just go with Mist Eaters to go to the next one. Yeah, and I think I'll just go with Flame Behemoths next. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me exit out back here. Uh, next time we'll be playing with the Flame Behemoths uh, with Archimedes. Uh, and yeah, after that we'll probably do another DLC squad once I'm done with the Flame Behemoths. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, bye!